Did y'all, uh, did y'all see the Alabama brawl? <laughs> yo, yo. Who knew Wakanda was in Alabama? That was crazy. You know, that was wild. So many people came out of nowhere. That, that shit was like black January 6th. That was like... <laughs> that was crazy. If you didn't see the video, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll explain it really quick. Basically, there was this one guy, he was an employee of the place, right? And uh, he was like asking these people to move their boat, you know? So it was a black employee, but he was asking these people who happened to be white that had the boat to move their boat and they wouldn't move the boat. I don't, I don't even know if this part is true, but I heard that they had been, the riverfront boat that was waiting to dock had been waiting for like 40 minutes because these people refused to move, right? So finally he just keeps going like, you gotta move the boat, you gotta move the boat. They get out of their boat, they're cursing at him and he's not backing down. He's like, you have to move the boat, I work here. You have to move the boat. And then they just keep cursing at him. Finally they put hands on him and then they, they start fighting him and they, he did his best, he held his own for quite a while. So it's not like they beat his ass, but they were clearly ganging up on this dude, right? And uh, you know, a lot of people, as soon as they saw the video, they got upset. I got upset once, I thought it was gonna bum me out, just seeing like five white dudes ganging up on this like middle-aged black dude and everything. And some people were upset about the, the racial part immediately, but I'm not gonna lie, I, I was distracted, I, I wasn't. I didn't hate these people because they were ganging up on them and they were white. I hated them because they had a boat. <laughs> you know what I mean? This isn't just a race thing. These rich fucks with a boat are trying to beat up a working class person is insane. You know, it made me furious. And then they, they, started, they started fighting them and then like other people came and you know, a lot of black people already saw what was happening. So then when the riverfront boat docked and other black people who saw what was happening, they all just swarmed. It looked like, you know like, you know, like that one episode in Game of Thrones where you know, they were losing, but then just more just came down the mountain. It was like, I was like, God damn, okay, wow. Send in the troops apparently. I should, I should back up. When the fight started, the initial fight where the dude was getting ganged up on, he just threw his hat. Just threw it, and that almost felt like a signal. That was, I didn't, I, as a black person, I didn't know that was our call to arms. I didn't know this was like, oh, okay, all right, we go now. That was wild to begin with. Then it just, it, it was crazy because then so many people swarmed in, it turned into a huge brawl. And I don't know if you saw a video, but there was one person that wanted to help when they saw him getting jumped so badly that this nigga swam. <laughs> jumped in the water. From the camera angle, we don't know where he came from. I'd like to think he came from Africa. I'd like to think he started swimming six weeks ago in preparation. Cause look, if you know, if you know, you know, the the history of of black people swimming, especially in the South, you know that we're not known for it. You know what I mean? And so I'm not gonna critique his swimming because I was just happy to see another black dude swim. That's just every one of us swimming is a W, okay? But I do have to comment because it what he wasn't swimming normal. <laughs> Did you see him swim? He wasn't swimming regular. This was not regular swimming, right? This man wasn't swimming to the fight. This man was punching the water till he got there. I knew he was gonna whoop ass when he got out of the water because he would. I've never seen someone punch water till they got to their location. That was so crazy. Go back and watch the video, this man. Punching with horsepower. Like, I've never seen anything like it. And then he gets out of the water, starts whooping ass, everybody whooping ass and everything. So you know that those, those white people, when they, you know, it started fighting, then started more fighting. You know they were relieved when the cops got there, but they, they must have been conflicted because half the cops were black. Like, that's... That's a situation where even when the cops arrive, you're like, ooh, whose side are you on? Because I was kind of doing a thing before you got here. 
know what I mean? Honestly, that's what, that's what's so wild. Because I think also, I've tried to put my mind in, it, I've tried to put myself in the mind of each person that was in the video in a way. Do you know what I mean? Because that's a terrifying thing. To get jumped is a terrifying thing. Then the person swimming. Then I'm just trying to think about every, every angle that I could think about it from. But I'm, I'm not going to lie. That, that, that must have been a huge surprise. Because you out here ganging up on this, this one dude with your buddies. And then before you know it, there's just like 50 black people. That's... <laughs> Listen, listen, I'm telling you right now, let's say y'all, right now, y'all just blinked and when you opened your eyes, there were 50 black people behind me. You, I'm not even saying you'd be scared, but you'd be surprised. <laughs> you'd be like, wow, that was fast. <laughs> That's all you'd say. You know? That's, a, that's the thing, that's, I think the, the strangest part, one of the, one, of the, one of the weirdest parts, like when you start watching the video, let's say you start watching the video, you had no context, nobody told you what was gonna happen, you hadn't seen any of the memes yet. The craziest thing about what happens is that, especially as a black person, I think some people are, are curious why black people have been memeing the shit out of it and everything. It's because if you know the South and you know the history of five white guys ganging up on a black guy and how that usually goes, you know? Especially when they have enough money for a boat. <laughs> usually doesn't turn out well, you know what I mean? And so this was a different thing. This is a different outcome than, than we've ever really seen before, you know? Because I'll be honest with you. Let's say, let's say we're in a different time and there's no camera phones and they were able to leave before the cops got there. They would've just beat up that dude and left, yep. you know? Yeah. And, that, and that's my thing where it's like, okay, yeah, whoop their ass, we all laugh, we all celebrate, whatever, but like, yep. fuck up that boat. Like, fuck up the, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> like, bust up the bow or something, like. <laughs> Rip a rudder out, please. <laughs> I do think that would hurt them more than the ass whooping. They'd just be standing there and they <laughs> looking like skippers. Not the boat! <laughs> you know? I used to... <laughs> I used to work at a, a grocery store uh, in a bad neighborhood. This is a, this is a terrible job. I, I lived in Chicago and I worked at this grocery store. So it was horrible, right? And the thing I hate most about working at a grocery store is not good is the security not good. Because then security, anytime something would happen, the security would walk up to me and talk about what we're gonna do about it. <laughs> Bro, I do this. <laughs> you do this. <laughs> and, all right, just hear me out. There was a guy who would come into our store and he didn't, he didn't come in often. It'd be like once every two months, maybe even once every four months if you were lucky but this guy was crazy. <laughs> and when he came in, he'd come in and he would fuck the lettuce. <laughs> I know you're wondering how, let me explain. <laughs> it didn't have to just be lettuce, but it was any, anything he could cut a hole in, he'd go to town, right? work there. What are y'all groaning about? I had, to, I had to see this. And so this dude, man, he would come in, cut a hole, go to town. Security guard come up to me. Security guard came up to me one time and was like, he's back. <laughs> I 
was like, that's a you problem. And I don't know, I don't know, this, I, like, dude was clearly not all there in the head and everything, but yeah, he would just come in, he'd catch a melon or something like that, and just make juice. Like, this dude was... I know, I know. I know. But a security guard came up to me and was like, he's back, so I'm gonna need your help. I was like, all right, what, what do you need me to do? And he was like, so we're gonna walk on either side <laughs> of him, right? We're gonna walk, so he's here. We're gonna walk either side, so we're sort of like, you know, and he was like, I'm gonna need you to run interference. And he said it like it was a real thing. I should know what that means or whatever. Like, and so we get to the point where we're both walking either side of him, and uh, he looks over at me. This dude is distracted. This dude's... <laughs> This dude doesn't know what's going on in the world. This dude is fully with the lettuce, right? And then he's locked in. And the security guard go. And I'm like, what does that mean? Like, he's acting like he gave me a plan. There's no plan. I don't know what this means. And so he's like, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So finally, I just yell out, I'm like, hey, do fucking the lettuce. <laughs> and that dude turned around and faced me, and when he faced me, I was like, tackle him. <laughs> and then he did, he tackled him. Got that dude to the ground. <laughs> and you gotta give credit where credit is due, okay? You do. To the security guard and to this dude, because this dude, was so hard, when he got up, the lettuce was still on him. That is crazy. I don't know if I've ever been that hard in my life. This dude got up. Hands be in hell. Like, it's not like he can help out for a quick second. Terrifying. Terrifying. I've been thinking a lot about the way that uh, that couples fight. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like the way, just the like the tactics we use, and like, look, I want to be clear. I truly believe this. I've even said on stage before. Everybody is doing everything. Don't, don't like listen to people getting in your ear, everybody's doing everything. Everybody gaslights, everybody, you know, all this, all this stuff like that. So it's, I'm not saying that one thing can only be to one person with one identity. I'm just saying like, I've, I've just watched and I feel like I just don't like fighting in a relationship because I, you know, I, I, I date women and women wait. <laughs> it's terrifying, women like, Women will let you think you won a whole fight. And then it's coming soon. And you don't even know what it is. It's not been planned yet, but it's gonna happen. My uncle got in an argument with his wife. And, you know, I don't, I don't even know what it was about, but must have been feeling himself, because when the argument was done, you know, he'd walk around, man of the house. You know. <laughs> Uh, he middle-aged, so you know he pulling that belt up a little high. And, and, and sure enough, he called me one day. This is apparently weeks after the fight. My man calls me. And he's like, uh, I'm gonna need you to pick me up. Like, I need you to pick me up, come get me. You know, I mean, I'm gonna need some, some help, young blood. Like, I just, uh, and I was like, what's wrong? And he's like, Okay, so we had a little argument, all right? So we had, we had a quick little argument, and I thought everything was fine. But it's the day to take me to the optometrist because I broke my glasses, and she talking about she's not gonna take me. <laughs> <laughs> and I told, I told her, I'm like, baby, I'm blind. Come on now. <laughs> And she, she over here talking about, you don't deserve to see. Like, <laughs> uh, 
Oh. Yo, y'all, y'all been phenomenal. Thank you so much. I'm Josh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.